What's up YouTube, Budgie here. Um, as you can tell, uh, I am cold. <laughs> I've got my hood up and I really couldn't think of anything else to do, uh, like what to record in the background. So I figured I'd just make a 100% IRL vid, I guess. Um, Alright, let's start off the questions. I was going to put the names up as like titles, but it, it'd be way too much effort because there's like a million questions. I just want to say the questions and answer them. I'll do as many as I can. Um, besides the standings of being a mod, like the crown, etc., do you get any extra advantages that RuneScape provide for you? Like, would you get a message of all the updates and then you'd be able to choose whether you want them or not? Also, how many mods need to agree before an update is made? Um, this is by one metamor one um, the answer to that is no um, as a player mod we don't get any insight on future updates unless they're to do with moderating procedures like um, if um, an update is like say when the the uh, profanity filter came out we you know we obviously heard about that because we need to know what you know it's it's to do with moderation. Um, second question by Xarth on X, do you play RuneScape naked? Um, sometimes. <laughs> Next question is by J1903, I've heard you got mod status within a month of fully maxing out your, uh, if your black marks have expired. This happened at King Duffy and he said he was back in 2007, is this true? Um, no, it's not true. Max players go through every other procedure that a, a regular player has to go through to become a player moderator. We are no different. Um, I'm not sure if they go through max players every now and again and check who has black marks and who doesn't, who would be a good moderator and who doesn't. Um, but they may possibly do, but I, I, I don't know. Um, but other than that, the answer to that question is no. It, you don't get mod status when you max just because you max. Um, next question is when did you start RS and how long did the completion escape take to get? Um, I started RS back in 2003. Um, that was when I wasn't really as serious into it as now. Um, but yeah, I've been playing since 2003. Not on this account, I've had a few other accounts that just sort of never got anywhere, anywhere near as far as this account did. Um, and I had the completion escape on release day. Um, if you mean how long it took me to max, it took me about two, between two and three years to max, and that was playing pretty hardcore. Um, what is your? That was by Le the Let's War, by the way. Um, what is your favorite mini game by End Noble? Um, my favorite mini game is probably. Um, Dungeoneering. <laughs> well, it depends if you class it as a mini game or a skill. Well, I class it as a skill, but you know, a lot of people class it as a mini game. So I'll say that's my favorite mini game. Um, apart from RuneScape, what are your hobbies? Unfor by Unforgettable Hero. Um, I don't really have many hobbies outside RuneScape because there's not really much to do around here. I'm not really into sport or anything. Um, uh, I mean. Most of my socialising is done online. I like going out drinking with friends every now and again, and uh, I don't know if any of you seen the pictures of me at parties and stuff, but um, no doubt you probably will at some point. Uh, I will probably post that on uh, in the link to my uh, in, in my video description. Sorry, so you can check that out. Uh, I do tend to have a good time at parties. <laughs> um, I have a problem with being stuck with a 60 mil bank all the time, even with Frost and Slayer, both at 85 Dungeon, 91 Slayer, still never goes up, what do you recommend to solve my issue? Exodus PVM, well, you've got PVM in your name, so kill bosses, God Wars, um, anything really. Nex is great, I mean, I've made a lot of money from Nex, Corporal Beast, whatever. Um, next question is by Namboss1, uh, Namloos39. When did you become a mod, and have you got any tips to become a mod? Um, just play the game, really. Don't try. Don't ever try to become a mod. Um, when I first started my account, I tried really, really hard to become a mod, and it never happened. Trust me, just play the game and behave. Don't bot, obviously. Play by the rules, um, and yeah, just you know, if if you'll get if you're gonna get invited, they'll invite you. So just you know, don't try because if you try, you're less likely to get invited. 
Um, how did you make your money to train Bible skills by Ravenfan567? Bosses, all PVM. Um, I've never merchanted, never scammed or anything. Um, it's all from PVM. That's pretty much it, really. I mean, I, I have not really much else to say on that. Um, would you do a cat for cr six Christmas crackers by XX Mage owns you XX? No, <laughs> no, I fucking wouldn't. Do moderators have extreme power when it comes to reporting? Some people believe that when a player mod reports you and you get a certain day amount of ban by Smiley PK. No, that's not true. We do have um, sort of prioritized reports. So if we report a player. Our reports tend to get seen within about 20 minutes to an hour, when a regular player's reports can take a few hours up to a day or a couple of days. Um, they prioritise hours so that hours get done first, obviously because we have the ability to mute. So if we mute a player, they've got to, you know, if it's a wrong mute by whatever reason, then they've got to remove that pretty quick. Um, next question is, how did you react when you found out you be going to become a player moderator and how long have you been a player moderator by RS Player Glenn. Um, I was pretty happy I guess because I always wanted to be a player mod. Um, I, I wasn't excited like ecstatic excited but I was pretty happy and um, I've been a player mod for about a year and a half now. Um, will you ever make a vid showing how you train all of your skills? Uh, yeah I, I won't do it all in one vid I'll do different vids. I want. I, after I finish my trimmed cape, especially, I want to make more guides on how to train skills and do whatever. Um, that was by Raw Solo. Um, the next question is by Roger. Will you go caught with me, smiley face? By Rivage the Mercenary. Um, it depends. When I'm having a break from Castle Wars, I'll go boss hunting, but um, possibly. I'm, I'm not really sure. Um... For how long have you played RS and what's your played time by date over row row 95? My total in-game time is about 560 days, something like that. Um, I maxed out at about 300 days played. Um, that was at 2376 back uh, two years ago. Hey Roger, what are the high level forums? Are they only for mods or max players? Because if they are, why don't you let us give some of your ideas for Jagex? We're smarter than you think. By Dacod Crew. Um, the high level forums are only being able, uh, are only be able to be accessed by max players. By max, I mean 99 in every skill. You don't need 120 dunge to be classed as maxed by Jagex, but. Um, yeah, um, mods don't have access to them unless they're maxed out too. And yeah, if you know, if I, I do pass on ideas from you guys, if you post good ideas um, in in the comments box or whatever, and I think they're good ideas, I will pass them on. Um, how long did it take you to get max total? About three years. What was your first 99? Fletching by Gurufaced. The question above that was by Bib Bibzuda7. Um, I heard Jagex isn't making any more people P mods. Is that true by Elite Thieves? No, it's not true. They're not recruiting at the minute, but they are going to start up recruitment at some point um, soon. It's not permanent, but it is true in a sense. They're not recruiting mods at the minute. Um, da -da 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 -da. For your Q and A video, is being a mod is is it always Mr. Nice Guy is appropriate like to participate in banter etc or do things such as swear like the majority of population RuneScape population does um, by boy by 29 no I I'm not really a, I uh, stereotypical mod you know I I talk in game the way same way as everybody else does if you sit in my clan chat um, I think everybody in there will tell you that I speak exactly the same way as every other player does, and I, I joke around just as well as the next person. Um, is there anything in particular that I can do to increase my chances of becoming a player mod by Chaotic Firearm? No, not really. Just play the game, play by the rules, be nice to people, and that's it, really. Um, this one is a good question by S15X. If you were given the chance to be not a player moderator for a day and change your usernames and only your friends knew who you were, would you do it? Um, 
I have to think about this one because, I mean, as much as I like being a player moderator, it's kind of nice not to be, like, I sort of missed the time before I was a mod, before I got bugged whenever I spoke at the GE or something like that. It was like, get asked questions. Um, I possibly would, but I generally enjoy being a player moderator. It's quite a fulfilling position, and uh, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't give it up completely. Um, do you party? Do you have a girlfriend? Not at the minute, I don't have a girlfriend, but yes, I party. How old are you? I'm 19. How long have you played RS? I answered that earlier. Uh, how many days are on your adventure log? I answered that earlier. Love the vids, keep them up. Hom Honondo01, whatever his name was. Um, how do you get the motivation to get your completion escape and other various skills? How did you get the motivation to max out pretty much? Well, uh, think of the achievement at the end of the road. Yes, there might be a skill that you might not enjoy, but think of the achievement at the end of that road. Like, you know, like the things you can do after you do a certain quest, like, you know, after you do what, if you, if you hit quests and you're working towards Wildgothic Sleep so you can kill Tormented Demons, think of the claws you'll get after you kill Tormented Demons, for example. I mean, I'm thinking of the Trimmed Completion Escape at the minute. I don't particularly enjoy Castle Wars, but I'm doing it anyway because I have other things to do and there's only two people in RuneScape with it at the minute, so it'll be a nice achievement for me because I'm pretty sure I'll be top 10 to that cape and it'll be a nice thing for me to say in the future, you know, I'll be able to say, oh, I was top 10 to trim my completion escape. Um, will you make ev will you ever make Dungeoneering type videos by Yama Chum Chumian or someone? Yes, um, I already have a few of them, a prestige guide, um, I, I plan to make a key in guide at some point in the future, and a warped boss engineering guide, I didn't ever get around to doing that because I was busy, but yes, I do. Um, what else? Uh, how long have you been playing, and out of all the skill caps, which one was hardest for you by Itachi1145? I honestly never found any of them hard other than construction. Yes, construction is a very fast skill. But I just hated not being able to talk to players because I was in my house all the time, you know, building mode. You never you never speak to another player unless you're in clan chat or whatever, and it's a very re repetitive process, and I just didn't really enjoy it. And it was the only skill I actually really didn't enjoy. Um, what is your favourite skill to train to 99 or 120? Dungeoneering and Slayer. I really enjoyed those two. Um, are Jagex doing anything about bots? Yes, they are. I want to do a bit of a bot bust that we go on and bust bots at some point, but um, I'll put a picture at the bottom from one of my old vids uh, about Modmat K talking about the bot bot problem and how they are dealing with it. Um, what else? Do you report people for swearing in your friends chat? No. Um, as I said, I banter just as much as the next person. How long did that cape take you? Um, a few years. Will you ever quit RuneScape? Probably, but not in the foreseeable future. Have you ever gotten beaten up from wearing your RuneScape hoodie? No, and I'm pretty sure I could defend myself, even if somebody did pick at me for it. Um, what kind of a lowlife would pick on somebody for wearing a RuneScape hoodie? I mean, come on, it's just as bad as wearing a... PS3 hoodie or an Xbox hoodie, it's the same thing, just a different game. Would do you say please and thank you to your mum? Yes, of course I do. She's my mum. Um, what makes you determine to play RuneScape? Um, the community, you guys, obviously. Um, Zafri.net, um, that's another community I'm heavily involved in. Zybez.net, I write content for them. Um, uh, my achievements and my clan chat. Everybody in my clan chat. Everybody in game. Uh, you're all awesome. Pretty much simple as that, really. Um, those are the questions that I managed to pick out. Uh, there was way too many questions to answer all of them, and some of them were repeats of other ones. So if I didn't get around to answering your question, uh, I apologise. I might do another one of these in the future. If you have any more questions, post them on the comments of this vid, and I'll try to answer them there. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you learned a bit something about me, and yeah, um, thanks for watching and uh, subscribe guys.